Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Throne and Liberty News. Let's check what is happening on servers in Korea and also regarding global release of Throne and Liberty. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. Also, on the start, I just want to say this will be a little bit, uh, let's say, sick edition of the news. You can hear that by my voice. I can catch a cold or something. So I apologize in advance regarding this video. I want to keep you updated. It doesn't matter. I am a little bit sick, but you'll be updated regarding what is happening in the world of throne and liberty. Whenever I see any kind of news and this evening, I have seen some news. Let's talk about Korean version of the game first. You can see here, new update is here for April 24th. So don't mind during this video me talking a little bit strangely. And uh, yeah, there will be some other sounds because uh, I'm a little bit sick. Don't worry, you need to be updated what is happening in the world of Throne and Liberty. So what we have here, uh, patch notes for April 24th. That is today in the evening. That means tomorrow basically in Korea, it will be implemented. Actually today is April 23rd, right uh, here in Europe and in North America. Let's check what we have here. First thing, a new dungeon, new PV dungeon of Throne and Liberty. Last one, five out of five. Two star dungeon. This time name of the dungeon is Screaming Torture Chamber. Uh, players have demand. Uh, we have heard feedback from players that uh, PV content of Throne and Liberty is not hard enough. So NCSoft, developers of this game, they have listened feedback of players and within the last uh, month and a half, a little bit more, they have implemented five new dungeons to the game. Two star dungeons, not easy content, very hard content, something similar to Lost Ark, but nothing like that. It's not level of Lost Ark, nevertheless, they are really hard. So this is last one, five out of five new PV dungeon is added to the game. Let's go further. What's, uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, big changes are coming to guild versus guild content. And I have read already throughout all of this. Uh, what is the point of these changes? No more Zerg. That is the point. Now guild versus guild content will be one versus one. Not alliance, nothing like that. So here you can see a few pages dedicated to those changes. Basically what is happening, there will be declaration of war 36 hours before the, some occupation. And then war will be determined. Uh, actually, there will be specific system. As I have seen, it will be connected regarding ranking list of the guilds. Who will compete one versus one for certain right uh, stone or if so on. I still need to check details what will happen after today, right after they implement these changes to servers in Korea. However, very positive change regarding guild versus guild content. No more Zerg. We are talking here about one versus one PVP, guild versus guild. Amazing news regarding this. Let's go further. Let's see what else we have here. I have noticed few interesting changes. Also, they are changing visually. How is looking this Dimension Stone Conquest? Uh, you can see here this area of uh, conquest, area of battle. And uh, if character is not belonging to this area, it will be showing uh, transparent. Uh, another interesting change here. Where is it? Elixir, rare purification elixir has been added to the game. This is actually very important. You need to hear this. When used, status abnormalities such as stun, restraint, sleep, and silence are removed. Two minute cooldown. So they are introducing in the game special potion, special pot, rare purification elixir, which will remove from you stun, restraint, sleep, silence uh, from you, right? Is that something what we have never seen in some other games from NCSoft? No, not really, right? However, it's really interesting that you'll be able to remove those abnormalities, right? Those special states. Stun, restraint, sleep, and silence. Two minute cooldown. Actually, it's not even that long cooldown. It's pretty short cooldown. Let's check what else do we have here. Field dungeon rewards, uh, not that. Okay, this change is uh, big. Lizard Island. So if you are following my YouTube channel, then you already know, you have seen that how to travel on that special Lizard Island, Sardoma Island. You need to use a whale. Big whale on the sky of Throne and Liberty. I have already done a few videos regarding that whale. Anyway, you need to ride the whale. You need to catch a ride and you can then glide on this lizard island. However, from this week, from this update, they are introducing teleportation stone placed on lizard island, which is interesting. They wanted to make it very hard to reach that island. And now they are placing teleportation stone on the island. Big change. 
massive change in direction regarding this sarodoma. Uh, it's written here, Lisa Thailand. So a uh, positive change. No more need uh, to ride on the whale. I have to admit that that riding on the whale was really enjoyable experience. Maybe they will put some other reason why to ride on the whale. Maybe some other island which you can approach only by the whale. But now, obviously, you'll be able to, once you take the teleport, you need to reach that waypoint, teleport point, to unlock that teleport point. You'll be able to go over there uh, with that teleportation statue immediately. No more riding on the whale. Other changes here, yes, they're still polishing the game, adjusting the game. I have seen also some uh, changes regarding weapons, little bit of changes regarding uh, user interface. They're changing uh, location indicator icon, how it's looking. Also, you can see here in character business card. It's not character business card. It's actually character card, which you can see on your screen when you click on uh, some character. They're adding combination of weapons. Finally, good idea. It was really strange to click on some character and you couldn't see what, co uh, what kind of combination of weapons that character is playing. Now you can clearly see that. Uh, changes to Mirror Boutique, a little bit U uh, UI changes. For uh, I have also noticed some changes uh, we have seen uh, uh, graphically. Have a look, for example, when other characters are interacting with some statue or something. When I'm reacting, you can see here when other characters are interacting, it's blue color. When you are interacting, it's uh, purple color. Before that, it was purple for everybody. Also, I have seen some changes for controllers. They're still polishing the game. And other than that, some minor fixes. So I wouldn't say small update in Korea, actually pretty big update in Korea. Many changes. This is a big change regarding the Lizard Island. They have, uh, they have had finally that fifth dungeon of Throne and Liberty. And question is now, are they making all of these changes? Because we might see these changes for global release of the game. That remains to be seen. Now you know everything what is happening in Korean version of the game. In generally, developers of this game, NCSoft, they're still polishing the game. They are fighting against both accounts and they are succeeding. They have really cleaned the game a lot from the bots, to make that clear. There is much less bots in the game. But now let's talk about global version of the game. If you are following my YouTube channel, then you probably know that global beta is over. I did participate, but I cannot talk about any kind of details. Nobody can't because NDA is up. So why am I then showing you this uh, IG post from NCSoft? Because after Global Beta, we have seen this post uh, saying thank you for participating in Global Beta. And on the end of this post, check this sentence. Hope to see you at the official lounge. Really? No more betas? That is interesting. Are NCSoft giving us a little bit of hint with this that there won't be any more any kind of betas? Nobody knows. It is possible, right? It is possible, and I guess I guess that there won't be any kind of any more betas, open betas that will probably go directly to official launch of the game. When nobody knows, there is no any kind of release date for now, any kind of release announcement from Amazon Games, either NCSoft. When I see any kind of news, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. For this evening regarding global version of the game, all I can tell you, closed global beta test is over. NDA was up, so we cannot talk about it, basically. And uh, regarding release date, there is nothing, nothing officially, but interesting hint within this IG post uh, from NCSoft. Hope to see you at official lounge. I hope also. That would be great. And I hope soon. Let's hope that very soon we'll hear some good news from Amazon Games regarding a global release of Throne and Liberty. For this evening, uh, this little bit sick edition, like I said, I am feeling a little bit sick, but it doesn't matter. Now you're updated fully regarding what is happening in World of Throne and Liberty. Korean version of the game and global version of the game. If you are interested into this new upcoming PC MMORPG, also available one day in the future on PlayStation 5 and Xbox, check my YouTube channel. I already have more than 200 videos. Yeah, more than 200 videos regarding Throne and Liberty. And I'm preparing lots of new videos for global release of this game, guides for new players, PvP guides, PV guides, dungeons, crafting, weapons, how to gear up, how to level up, whatever you want to know regarding Throne and Liberty, you'll find on my YouTube channel. Also, when I see any kind of news regarding the global version of the game or regarding what is happening on servers in Korea, I will let you know about that instantly here on my YouTube channel. You can join me on Twitch, 
every evening about 6 p.m central european time probably right now when you are watching this video i am live streaming on twitch join me on twitch if you have any kind of questions regarding the game i'll be glad to answer and also to be updated regarding everything what is happening in world of throne and liberty thank you for watching the video subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on twitch see you soon with another throne and liberty video